Good morning, my name's Amber. I'm a flower farmer florist from Blooms on the Hill and it is Good Friday. Um, happy Easter, everybody. I'm um, just enjoying the last of my dahlias before they die. I'm expecting it to happen after Easter because it always gets cold. I'm enjoying a love apple. It's got a love apple tree, red on the outside, weirdly red on the inside. Um, they're actually quite nice. Um, it was a present from my husband. And he says, if I let the apple tree die, it means our love will die. Um, <laughs> little joke, I think, hopefully. Um, today I'm planting uh, ranunculus. I have been doing that over the last couple of weeks. I've planted some here and there. So I will show you what I've planted already. So I've got a couple of patches. Uh, the garden's looking a bit untidy. I've got still got zinnias and there's weeds amongst them and the sweet peas where the netting is. Um, I've got a bed here. It's got some ranunculus corms in, um, in between the sticks. And then there's some godetia I've planted out there. And then there's a few more ranunculus corms in there. So I've been buying the Italian ones, which are the bigger corms. And they have like the bigger flowers, um, longer stems. They're really expensive. But here we go. These, uh, well, here's some weeds, of course. have already come up. But here, this little fellow here. There's a ranuncular already coming up. There's another one there. There's another one there. And over there. Actually, they've just really started to come up. So that's really good. It's actually started raining. It's supposed to rain all weekend, which is really unusual because normally you get a really nice Easter. Um, now, these are my ranunculus corms that I've got. Um, there's only, I think, 10 of them in this lot that I ordered. And these ones are salmon really pretty color um, they're in a jar because I soaked them so you should soak them for three to four hours in uh, room temperature water um, and they plump up uh, and if you haven't grown them before they're really freaky these little things they, it's a corm um, not a bulb Can you see that little fellow it looks like a little huntsman spider so if you're in Australia and I say huntsman spider you know what I'm talking about if you're not in Australia this is a huntsman spider. So fun fact about huntsman spiders, if you're not in Australia, they are yeah, horrible looking. They also live in your house generally. Well, they live everywhere, but they like to be in your house and you find them on your walls. Um, they like to take residence. Um, they're not harmful but they um, don't build a web. So what's even more revolting about them is they just like, they're very good at like chasing and pouncing on their prey. <laughs> so, um, and I once had like a really big one rushed out from underneath my fridge and I actually heard the tapping of its feet on the lino. They're nasty. So I just need to find a spot to put this little lot of ranunculus. Um, as I said, there's Godetia here and then ranunculus at the end. There is a little bit of space there and I might actually pull out that zinnia to make a bit of space. At this bed here where there's ranunculus in, there is that dahlia at the end there, which I sort of don't really want to pull that out just yet, but it's probably not far off disappearing anyway. So we might go with this little space here. That should fit that 10 in there. And I do have some more corms coming. Um, we're getting around to all these beds. You can see that the grass has already started to come up in them. One day I'm going to do raised beds, but the status is in and doing all right. And some um, scabiosa. There's a bit more scabiosa went in here. This stock is all in here. And then there's more space for more stock up that way. Once those asters will be gone, of course, and a couple of zinnias and um zadias that are there so anyway it's ranunculus today that we're dealing with okay i've just cleared a spot for these ranunculus um here i'm on a bit of an angle sorry the phone's sitting on a thing <laughs> it's all very awkward so look this is really simple um i put mine 20 centimeters apart um i probably could go a little further apart um so anyway i've just got my dutch Dutch. I use my Dutch hoe to clear this part. I'm getting very confused. I'm getting wet too. It's raining. Um, my hurry hurry knife. If you haven't got one of these, these are awesome. They've got a serrated edge so you can hack at stuff and also dig. And they've got like a measurement 
down the blade so you know how far you're digging. Um, yeah, just to go and dig a little hole. Um, they don't have to go in too far. So you're not digging to China or anything. And I'm just popping them sort of, yeah, 20 centimeters apart. And get your little huntsman spider, ranunculus comb, and pop him in the hole. And he goes legs facing down. Okay, um, don't do it the other way because you'll have an upside down plant. Well, not really. You'll have a plant that doesn't grow. Um, and it's as simple as that, just popping them in. And I'm not going to cover mine up until I dig the next row, row of holes so that um, I know exactly where the last ones went. So I get them about a good distance apart. So, as I said, these are Italian ones. Um, I didn't have these Italian ones last year. I just had some mixes that I got from a bigger nursery, online nursery store. Um, and they weren't very tall. But the Italian ones are the proper ones that you want to grow for flower farming. Um, and, well, anyone can grow them, of course. But yes, you get the longer stems. Um, Ranunculas are great because you get multiple flowers, okay? So it's not just like a one and done. For example, like a tulip or a daffodil or a stock flower, um, you'll get, yeah, more than one stem, which is great. So they, these Italian ones are a bit dearer, as I said, but um, yeah, you wanna get the better flowers. Um, and like they're an early spring flower. So if you've got weddings in early spring and they're just, they're like a, almost like a rose, they last um, like, 10 to 14 days in the vase and they just keep opening up all these layers of petals and they look beautiful at every stage even just before they're about to die they look fantastic um what else about them oh they can be scented too so i had a few last year the odd one had a scent and it was sort of like a rose but not which was they were really lovely uh and and i'm hoping that these bigger ones are better again with their scent so um, I've had a bit of an inquiry for a wedding for September, um, so if that's a booking, um, you know, ranunculus would be perfect. So the ones I'm growing, I've gone quite, well, I've been quite conscious of getting wedding colours. So I've got pinks, whites, salmon, and also a bit of orange. Uh, there was a bit of a stuff up with an order where I thought I'd ordered more white than I actually had, and it turned out they their website was wrong. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I got some free orange. Um, so I think the orange might be nice. It's really raining much heavier now. It's supposed to be horrible all weekend. So I'm nearly finished here. So I hope everyone has a really good Easter and that the Easter bunny brings you lots of chocolates. My husband keeps threatening to shoot the Easter bunny. So much to my children's horror. <laughs> uh, they don't really believe him, I don't think. Um, I've kind of got a couple to do here, and uh, yeah, other than that, we're just working this weekend as usual. We hope everyone goes away. We don't. <laughs> We've been shearing lambs last night, late last night, and we got a whole bunch more to shear, so it's just a typical working weekend for us. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good Easter.